Good morning, YouTube, YTPC. How are you all doing? It's actually quite a sunny morning here. Um, mild temperatures, but still a bit of snow around. I'm now in southern Switzerland at about a thousand meter elevation. I'm sitting in the uh, shed of Shangri-La, which uh, my wife named this shed. And uh, got a few decorations out. Uh, maybe you want a little look. That's my little corner now with all my tobaccos. I've got several Christmas tobaccos there. A few pipes I keep in here because uh, so far it never over two winters didn't get below minus two and not above 21 degrees so it's reasonably well insulated this shed a uh, few lamps about and uh, somewhere i've got an advent calendar here <laughs> which i've been trying to keep up up to date with uh, eating the chocolate and actually a few little uh, chocolate delights there and of course a glass of eggnog and I'm playing one of the Christmas uh, fire and music background uh, music tracks from my playlists so if you go into my playlists under Christmas you'll find a huge number I must have more than 50 of those kind of videos that play music and give you the crackling fire and all of that and that is my crackling fire at least uh, an electronic uh, copy of one <laughs> but it keeps this shed nice and uh, nice and warm and that's my christmas uh, pipe rest there and actually i bought my christmas zippo with me and today I'm looking at uh, that blend you see there, Holiday Mixture from Sutliff, which I have several times mentioned. That will be on today, which is the uh, fourth advent. So um, smoking it right now, the Sutliff Holiday Mixture. I jarred it up straight away when I got the bag from smokingpipes.com and this is available in bulk and uh, you know uh, about $4.50 or something like that an ounce uh, depending on how much you buy but very available and very affordable and um, I found this just by searching under Christmas and holiday and um, was really curious about this one. I probably have 10 bowls. I'm slowly making a dent in my, my jar reserve here. And uh, I'm today using a good old Ben Wade again with the sleigh and everything like that. Not sure if this one has the Santa. Yeah, it does. Actually, you see the Santa on, on the base and Vlad the Inhaler has a good collection of um, Ben Wade pipes and showed them under his recent videos about Christmas pipes. They're very, very good. Unfortunately, this year they didn't make one because I think uh, Ben Wade company was sold to Parker, according to Vlad the Inhaler. Um, and it's just a shame that they used to make these very creative Christmas pipes and other ones like the Einstein pipe or the Churchill pipe and I hope they go back to doing that because they were very good at it and uh, good old smoker this one very good but let's uh, talk about the tobacco but I just will have a sip of my famed polybomb eggnog just a second oh beautiful I don't keep it in the shed anymore because it sets like a, a custard and you can't even pour it in. So uh, just keep it in the house and let it cool a bit here and it's just perfect. 
As I said, it's always good in the shed to have your home comforts, as many as you can squeeze in there. So, Tampa today is uh, this uh, lovely Jack the Piper one, which is a flame, it always reminds me of a Christmas candle, so I thought that was still appropriate to use. Well, good news right off the bat, because I didn't know what to expect with this blend, but when I read it up, of course, in tobaccoreviews.com, it got a very high score, unusually high score, 3.6. For some reason, at the top right, they say one score, and then when you go down and look at the summaries, they give another average total score, so I'd give the higher one, 3.6, I think top right was 3.4. But this used to be a blend which was made by Laris Brothers, apparently, um, and then a bit later it was taken over by Lane. So this match from Sutliff, some people say it's a match of a, is it the match of uh, Laris Brothers or the one of Lane, and not all the reviewers had had the uh, original Laris Brothers ones, but the consensus is all, most reviewers in tobaccoreviews.com, they said this is pretty damn close, and some of them said this is actually better than either of those originals. Uh, but nuances of maybe sweetness or certain flavors getting through. So obviously as a match, they've done a very good job. Even Jim In said, as a match, if you just rate it on, on a match, it, it's four stars in the top score. So that, that was good news on paper at least. And when I looked in it, um, it's, uh, a beautiful cut of uh, you can see basically there's a lot of cube cut pieces in there you know some some have erupted and uh, I've been fumbling around and so they're not too tightly um, packed to, together but there's a lot of cube cut and that's why it's described as a cube cut I'd say it's a mix of a rough cut and a cube cut because there are flakes in there as well. And what it is, is uh, this is a uh, Black Cavendish Burley, Latakia, Virginia and Perique. So it's almost got the uh, everything in the Christmas uh, kitchen sink in there, you know. Um, it says it's not uh, flavored, but some of the reviewers said there's at least a casing and maybe even a topping here of um, sweetness, sugar, uh, sugar and uh, fruit. Now the fruit could be coming from the Perique, that's true, but there is um, a kind of additional sweetness coming through, which uh, some thought at least that uh, maybe it's out a Sutliff house casing or something like that. Um, so it, it's it's basically a Weber, you know, it's uh, in terms of what's forward. So the Virginia and the Burley are dominating this. And in the background, uh, the Latakia and Perique. And the, the, La, the Latakia is, I found, pretty hard to pick up, you know. Uh, there were nuances where I thought, oh, there's a little bit of smokiness there. The Perique I found more likely contributing that uh, dark fruit component. And I, I think that's actually where it's coming from. This is a casing, I think it's just uh, a sugar casing with a bit of sweetness there um, to add to it. Interesting thing about the original is um, they used to um, use this uh, picture of a boat going to the Caribbean or something like that, like that. So 
you could argue this is not a Christmas blend, it's just holiday meaning go on holiday somewhere. Uh, that might be true. I still think, well, you know, Christmas is also a holiday, so um, let's take it in the fold. And uh, I think this is actually a, a very good blend to have as a choice what you're going to smoke at Christmas. Now, firstly, a lot of people out there don't like aromatics particularly. And, uh, you know, you think, well, what are they, they can have uh, at Christmas. And I think this blend is one for you, gentlemen, you know, because um, it has nice nu nuances of fruitiness and sweetness, and you get that in mince pies and stuff like that at Christmas. So um, it's more, I suppose, like an American blend, isn't it, with, with a, uh, if you count the casing as a sort of flavor addition so English blend with with other things uh, added to it subtle as they are um, my experience so far after 10 bowls and that says something I like to smoke this uh, it makes your mouth water um, and it's easy easy peasy now the other blends I've showed um, some can be a bit tricky to get the best out of them this one is easy you plug and play you, you plug it and smoke it and the cube cut of course which I, I like a cube cut I like it in crooner for example because it slows down the burn and means you know it may have Virginia in it, but this is going to be hard to burn yourself with it and get tongue bite with it. And um, it makes it very easy to control smoke. And in general, uh, an all day smoke, you want one that doesn't burn quickly, more slowly, so, and cool. And this this is fitting the bill so in terms of being able to like this tobacco I think it's pretty easy pretty easy I, I got friends with it very very quickly did ask my wife what she thought about the aroma and she says it's pleasant you know pleasant bit of fruit that fruitiness is around and I think it's a crowd crowd pleaser and in that sense also Maybe it wasn't designed for Christmas holiday, but it, it, it is suited for that if you've got, you know, company around you. I think there's a slight bias on the Burley versus the Virginia, but not dramatic, 60 to, to 40 between the ratios of those two. And I pick up that nice, gentle sweetness and um, some, some of the hay grassiness from the Virginia and um, not so much the chocolate that you, or, you can get from Burley but a bit of the nuttiness. If there's a, a chocolate nuance it's more like a cocoa one, you know. The, the sweetness has a slight twist to it. Um, probably with the black Cavendish it comes out a bit of marshmallow dark fruit I wouldn't call it plum in my case I, I got more of a bit of raisin but see that fits also with a Christmas blend so I think it easily qualifies to be a choice at Christmas the black Cavendish is smoothing it out taking a little bit the edges off of the Burley and, and the Virginia The only critic I, I would make is they could have put a little bit more black Cavendish in it to, you know, add the creaminess and, uh, you know, enrich it a little bit. But um, otherwise, it's having a, a kind of modifying effect without being very forward. Anyone who likes Burley and Virginia and uh, 
you know, a, a sweet note to it rather than the citrusy and grassy note. Um, they'll be all right with this one for sure. Not, uh, not heavy on Nick at all. Mild, mild, I would say, medium. So it's not a flavor bomb for Christmas, but it is easy and pleasant to smoke. And if you just want to plug it and play it in any pipe and know it will work, this will do the job. And unlike some of the tobaccos that come out at Christmas, they're hard to find and uh, they get sold out quick and some are only sold in America and some are only sold in Europe. This one is easy, you know, smokingpipes.com have the lowest international shipping rate and send you a bag for probably international from America to Europe for five or eight dollars, even if it's a big bag. So you can't beat that. Everybody can get it. If you're like me, you like a bit more sweetness on your on your tongue this time of year then you could drink it with an eggnog but you could have this with coffee for example something like that or you know coffee coffee liqueur or something and what you can definitely say this one doesn't have any polyethylene glycol or humectants in it um there were a couple of um Reviews, Mike Rondo just um, did one very, very recent, recently and um, he, I think, got a, a slightly drier batch than I did because as far as I was concerned, out of the bag when it arrived here in Switzerland, I did jar it up straight away because I thought this is just about perfect, you know, um, and I can still feel that there's a bit of moisture in there, but just the right amount so didn't have to you know dry it or um, rehydrate it just put it in the jar and absolutely perfect and you will have no of those issues with um, a humectant in there so you know this is definitely a great tobacco I think to have as an option you know so sometimes you're not always in the mood for sophisticated or that you have to take a particular pipe or that you have to do it very slowly. This one is just uh, plug and smoke and you're off. So my personal view is uh, this is an unsung hero of Christmas tobaccos and I would definitely myself give it the top score. 3.6. I totally agree with that. And I think it's a wonderful discovery, if you like. Maybe it wasn't intended for Christmas, but absolutely it's uh, suited to the table. And it's definitely a tobacco that if you think, oh, I could, you know, a bit more Latakia in it, or a bit more Black Cavendish, you, you, you can easily mix it in and adjust it to be perfect for your Christmas blend. So I think it's got great uh, potential to be tweaked, you know, uh, to be go go from 3.6 to 4 for, for you, how you want to have it, whether you want a bit more Perique in it. Some commentators said you know, a touch more Perique would have been good. In my case, a touch more black Cavendish, perhaps. But uh, you know, it's it's pretty close to to uh, almost perfect. You know, keep talking so much, it would easily you know um, keep a light, and I don't think you would need too many relights on this one. Just trying one of these Peterson filters, you know. Generally, I've used uh, many other makes, but I haven't used too many of the Peterson ones, 9mm. Uh, they used to have a plastic green cap, but now, in recent times, they've got a ceramic cap at both ends. 
and um, I've just tried a few, but they, they seem absolutely equal to a Stanwell one or any of the other 9mm filters which are popular. That's my uh, first impression stroke review. I kind of decided that um, to do the real full review, you almost have to go through like half a tin or something like that to sort of get to know it, you know, and try different pipes and all of that. But I hope that the first impression will give you some impressions for yourself. Um, and, and I definitely recommend, you know, if you like those uh, blend characteristics, get some of this, it's, it's absolutely, you know, inexpensive and very, very enjoyable. Doing okay, I know some members of YTPC have gone through tough times and uh, uh, bereavements and also relatives who are very ill, we also have one or two in our family circle, so it's not such an easy time, but uh, at least at Christmas there are moments at least, some of the time one can take to enjoy also being near to family and, and the festivities that go with it. <laughs> so you all take care and I'll be back either Christmas Day or Christmas Eve and I've got one more tobacco in store and I'm going to surprise you with that one at that time. So look after yourselves and uh, my thoughts and prayers for those who are struggling with uh, illness and bereavement but I hope uh, also a bit of Christmas cheer will be there for you as well, my dear friends. Take care. Bye-bye.